loved when I'm talking with folks and they hear what the ambitions of the animal protection movement are to create a truly humane society where we have more peaceful relationships with other animals. They tell me that they just think it's impossible. And I ask them, well, what about other things that seemed impossible? Right now in our society, there is a legitimate debate about what the proper relationship with other animals ought to be. But think about what else passed for legitimate debate in our country. Just 150 years ago, the blink of an eye ago, the legitimate debate in our country was whether one person ought to be able to own another human being. A hundred years ago, the legitimate debate in our country was whether women, more than half the population, ought to even be able to vote. If you go back and read the congressional transcripts about suffrage when Congress was debating it, you had members of Congress standing up on the floor of the Congress talking about how if women were allowed to vote and hold office, they would have to adjourn the body once a month because they would be so hysterical they couldn't even rationally deliberate on the matters pending before the body. That was legitimate debate just 100 years ago. 50 years ago, legitimate social debate was whether whites and blacks ought to be able to drink from the same water fountain. 10 years ago, legitimate debate was whether gay Americans ought to have the same rights as other Americans. And yet today, if you were to take the wrong side on any of those issues and say you don't believe in women's suffrage or you're for slavery or for racial segregation, in nearly any part of our country, you would be a social pariah. So what might be possible 10, 15, 20 years from now? Will people look back in utter revulsion at the way in which we so commonly abused animals, especially animals who were exploited for food? I think they will. And I think that they are going to be shocked by the routine cruelty that we inflicted on animals who had done nothing to deserve it except for being born into the wrong species. And history will not be kind in the judgment that it renders on our current food system today.